This video is in the chapter of vector spaces. We are going to introduce the concept of vector spaces now. Okay, so, so we are defining what a vector space is. I'm going to use K as a field of scalars. Feel free to think of this as numbers, where I'm going to use K and lambda as scalars in a field K. Probably later we will be identifying the field with the reals or or even with the complex numbers or something. For the moment let us say it's just a field. Okay, a field of scalars. So we have a field of scalars and we have a vector space where we have these entities, vectors, okay, called vectors. Uh, not necessarily ge the geometrical vectors as we have seen in previous videos. So I'm going to say U, V and W are vectors in this vector space. Okay, so we say that V is a vector space if the following axioms hold. So number one, let me take this one out here. Yeah. Oh, I'll show this later. Okay, so number one, um, a vector space should be closed under vector addition. Okay, so if you add any vectors, so for all u and v in the vector space, if you add them, okay, for all u and v in v, if you add u and v, the addition should be in the vector space. Okay, so this this is called closed under vector addition in this case. Okay, that's axiom number one. Uh, I'm going to take this out for now. Okay, uh, axiom number two for any vector u, v and w in the vector space, uh, vector addition is associative. So you can add u plus v and then add w or you can first add v plus w then add u plus v plus w and that should be the same okay so vector addition is associative um, here for any vector in the vector space um, there will be a vector this is a vector this is not number zero this is vector zero so this is an entity entity zero there is a zero zero vector in a vector vector space where u plus 0 is the same as 0 plus u is u, okay? So this is the identity for vector addition, okay? Okay, uh, fourth axiom, uh, for any vector in the vector space, there is a symmetric vector, right? So if we, ha if we add u plus minus u, we get 0, okay? We have seen what this vector is, right, in, in previous videos. And fifth and last axiom for vectors, so to speak, so this, f uh, this five should be about vectors, okay, and the other should be the relation between scalars and vectors. For any vector u and v in the vector space, uh, vector addition is associative, right? So if you add u plus v, that should be the same as v plus u. Okay, th six, now we begin with the scalars. For any scalar in the field of scalars and for any vector in the vector space, the product of a scalar by a vector, so k times u, should be in the vector space. So we have two entities, k's from the vector fields and u from the vector. So two different entities, the product of k and u should be in the vector space. Now for any scalars, k and lambda in the, in the, the scalar field, and for any vector u in v, if we add two scalars and we do the product with a vector u, that's the same as k times u plus lambda times u, okay? k plus lambda times u is the same as k times u plus lambda times u. So, 
vectors are distributive uh, with respect to scalar addition. Okay. Now for OK and lambda, all the same here, OK? And for any vector in U, lambda, if we have lambda times K, so a scalar product times a vector, that's the same as lambda times the product of K times a vector. And 9 we can say the same here um, with uh, vectors, right? Um, meaning, uh, if I have vector u plus vector v, and I do it times lambda, so here we had k plus lambda times vector u, is KU plus lambda U. Here we have the addition of two vectors and then the product with a scalar. So that's the same as U lambda plus V lambda. Okay? So scalar product is also uh, distributive uh, respecting uh, vector addition. Okay, and the last one is. Um, uh, for any vector u in the vector space, there will be a, a scalar that we are going to call it 1 in the field of scalars, where 1 times vector u is the same as vector u. Okay, of course, this vectors in the vector field and k k in the, the field of scalars. Okay, we have uh, these 10 axioms, right? So 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 are, um, I like to call it, um, let's say, sc scalar axioms, right? Because it's about scalars here, okay? And the very first five, the very first five, I don't know why this 9 is here. Um, this very first five are about um, vectors, right? Vector addition. The rule here is all about vector addition. And here, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, this five axioms is about scalars. So if all this happens, right, all these relations between the vectors in this vector space and the fields in, in this field of scalars, we say we have a vector space.